Hello, I'm the GX Toy Cat, and recently I've been doing a lot of weird Skywatch challenges that have made people question exactly how much is possible within what is meant to be a PvP only game mode. I've been making houses, I've been crafting a lot of recipes that people would assume were turned off on the server, but for some reason were not. And a lot of people look at this and say, well, how long is it till we just see Toy Cat playing vanilla survival but inside Skywars? And honestly, even though this is a very joking suggestion that isn't meant to go anywhere, I figured why not give it our best shot? Even though the game is so clearly set up not to allow that, so many crafting recipes are disabled, so much of the game just doesn't work, why don't we try our best to try and play vanilla survival while 11 to 15 other strangers try to kill. As you can see, there's even a nice alive counter going down there. And instead of, uh, you know, playing attention to that and trying our very best, instead we're just going to treat this as our base for a survival world. Again, no one in this game knows me or is familiar with me. These are going to be strangers who are going to kill each other and then eventually come for me. So my very first move is to make a crafting table. Again, most uh, Skywars servers will disable this, but on Cubecraft, for some reason, there's a few crafting recipes which aren't disabled. So if we want to make, say, sticks, we can totally do that. Want to make a wooden axe? Again, this is a fairly reasonable thing you can actually choose to, or in fact, we can use our pickaxe and our stone to make a stone axe, because we can make cobblestone. So look at that, for some reason, again, I, I kind of understand the, the maybe of this, you can make a stone axe if you want to. Very few people ever do, but on a map like this, which, oh, you can try to make a stone axe. Again, you can see like where the game is like stopping you from crafting, and this is why it's really tricky to get anything done. Like, how am I meant to chop down these trees? You find an axe in the wild. However, if you want to say craft a stone pickaxe, for some reason that's entirely fine. So uh, the game just basically has a list of recipes that you're allowed to craft, a list of ones you aren't. Obviously, the stone pickaxe is not as useful as this free iron one. Uh, but yeah, it's about trying to work around those limitations in playing Minecraft Survival. And uh, because the game is very stingy of the resources it gives you, it's very hard to get anything real done. Like if you want to find iron ore, uh, you know this map just doesn't have caves, so we're gonna have to find that ourselves. And it mostly comes down to mining what the game gives you. Again, Sky Wars is very much not a game about collecting resources. It's not a game about survival. It's a game about here is a bunch of stuff we're going to give you. Go kill each other. And said, oh, there is this cave on this map. Yeah, it's literally one cave you get in your Skywars world and that's it. There's no, uh, you know, food in the terms of like there's no animals. Uh, there's just like one set of ores you can get. But most people don't even do this. It's really just like a optional second part of the game if you want to drag things out. So a furnace, for instance, we can in fact make if you want to smelt stuff. I mean, it's a fairly reasonable request. And now because we also have some coal that we mined, we can actually go up and start smelting our resources. Oh, the game actually gives you a crafting table. Who would have figured? Furnace is not supported. They're working on getting support added as soon as possible. So there's a way to mine iron ore, but there's no way to smelt it. Not gonna stop me from trying other things, however. So if we got ourselves a wooden shovel here, for instance, we can surround it by five birch planks and usually make a boat, except apparently not on this server. That's, that's just not okay here. Like it doesn't even come up with the crafting recipe, which is odd. So some recipes don't work. Some won't even come up in the slightest. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to show you how just using torches and iron ore, cause that's as far as our Let's Play has gone in this world at least, uh, to kill a guy who is firmly entrenched to a far superior position, better equipment, better armor, and is currently shooting at you from a top of high position. So my first move is to use my iron ore and get just below him so that, you know, as you can see, he's he's just kind of confusingly up there and he sees that I'm down here. Also, just for fun, we'll have this wooden shovel, maybe. Well, this hasn't worked in the slightest. It's been a solid, like, three, five minutes now and he's just stood up there, which means that I think the best plan is to get him to throw an enderpo at me because, you know, these spawn on the map after a certain amount of time and then for him to just miss. We'll place a torch. Places that he should clearly fire an enderpo at and he's gonna fire, and he's gonna do it. Honestly, right now, we can just stand here, get him frustrated, oh, you're hitting me well. But I mean, how well's that going for you? Yeah, honestly, I might, I might honestly just go to the bathroom, unless he jumps down somewhere else and comes kills me. I got back, and I guess he's been using his, uh, his uh, bow and arrow, and he's got like six hearts down on me. You'd figure, like I was gone a solid two minutes there, that that would be enough to kill me if that was his strategy, but apparently it's not. You know, I wish I had a guy like this when I was trying to get the Sky Wars game to last for an hour, because it seems as though I could literally stand there, go AFK for a bit, and he would still be doing his thing. Is he making a bridge? Okay, so we're just gonna throw an enderpo up there. Nice and easy. Then we're gonna jump down behind him and knock him off the edge. Oh no! <laughs> well, you're not. That was an anticlimactic end to the game. This one right here is the perfect map because it's the only map to have both water and lava. And there's no buckets, but theoretically there is a way to get the water to the lava. So this is our magnum opus. If we can make this work, we can make at least some amount of obsidian and maybe even a nether portal. Again, very unrealistic, very, uh, in fact, a nether portal is entirely impossible because of the lack of buckets. However, we're gonna see what we can make happen and maybe it's a good thing. 
So welcome back to episode one of Toy Cat's new Let's Play. So I figured to mix things up this time, rather than doing it on a permanent survival world, which I've had for six years, why not go on a very temporary Skywars world? This will last at max about 10 minutes, but let's see how much survival we can play today. So uh, because this is the first episode of a Let's Play, make sure you check out the series playlist and also, uh, you know, you do all the other things. It's, it's been so long since I've seen an episode one Let's Play, but you know, if it, since it is one of those things, maybe you do those things in the description. Okay, so now I'm pretty uh, safe by myself. Uh, there's a guy over there, but I don't think he cares about me. We're just gonna build the water bridge to the center. Again, I really, really want to get some obsidian going. But while we work on that, oh, we could also <laughs> build a little tree farm, which I think is actually a. So yeah, if, if I just get rid of this block, and now I'm, it's impossible to kill me because you can just, as soon as I get knocked off, I can fall in the water stream. And we can also use this water stream. Again, this is very dangerous. You shouldn't do this. But we'll build it underneath our thing, and that way we can use this as a way to make the trench deeper to get the water going further. So remove these blocks, and now the water flows over here. So <laughs> this looks insane to literally everyone else playing the game. I haven't seen anyone do this in Skywars for a very long time, but it's actually a surprisingly effective strategy. I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple just to survive right here, which sounds like a bad thing. But I mean, it. oh no, okay, okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. See, <laughs> water makes it impossible for me to die. It's been so long since this was a real tactic in Skywars, and I do kind of miss it if I'm being entirely honest. Oh, about that. So we remove this block right here, and then we kind of do the same thing. We make a bridge slowly heading towards the center. It's trickier from this place, but it's fine. Now we've got water. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, <laughs> so I've got a lot less wood this time. So to make it go a little bit further. Oh, okay. So someone is on their way here right now. Uh, and I think he's just jumped off the edge. Oh, someone just followed me over here. So I've got two options here, right? I can uh, truce of them, which is what they want me to do. But teaming is not allowed in Skywars. So instead, I'm going to trick them, and I'm going to knock them off. Which, again, sounds bad, but they're a dirty criminal. They want to commit crimes. So again, what we're going to do, very stealthily here, when they're least expecting it, we're just going to... See, look, right now, there's an easy way to get them off. And then we turn around, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm, okay, I'm the monster here. I deserve to die. You're right. So yeah, for some reason, everyone just ended up, like, right near me. There's a person over there, which I guess I'm going for first. And then there's a person over here as well. So just get them to kill their armor. Oh, kill them to get their armor. And then we're going to kill that person too. So let's see if we can, we can't light it, we can't do anything like that, but can we make a never portal without buckets? Oh, okay, so we got the bomb bits done, which I mean, we made obsidian at least. Has obsidian ever been made in Skywars before just now? I think not, right? I think not. So I might have made a mess so far, but now I've got to the center, I've got a lot of blocks, and I can start to work on my first house. Oh, okay, we built from wood next to lava, and I feel like we kind of deserve what we're getting right here. <laughs> <laughs> like on the one hand, this is this is probably something I should have foreseen. On the other hand, I'm still tragically upset. Yeah, as it turns out, next to a lava pool is just not the right place to uh to build a wooden wall for your house. You know, the support structure should definitely be made of something that is solid as opposed to wood. There is a pressure plate down here somewhere, which detonates some TNT. Oh, it's just one block of TNT. And then we're gonna take this TNT. And we're gonna try and make a little redstone contraption. So yeah, my goal with this one is quite simple actually. I'm just gonna place that down there, place some stone on top of it, and then hidden on the stone, there's gonna be a stone pressure plate. And now we've got a redstone contraption. Just in case, however, they do, you know, like they don't run over the pressure plate and I need to get them, I'll place a button on the TNT itself. Oh, no I won't. I'll place a button on the floor next to the TNT. See, it's weird, like a lot of things just don't work even though you'd expect they would. And now I've got myself a safety mechanism in case they run towards my house. Which, I mean, like, you'd expect they would, but right now they're doing that instead. And now what we're going to do is going to start working on the house. So I'm going to try and do, again, natural terraforming into the structure we have. This is a absolutely beautiful looking tree. So we're going to turn this one tree, actually these two trees, into the start of a beautiful house that will blow away your expectations. So yeah, my house is coming along quite nicely, but it does need a few touches on the inside to make it just that little bit nicer. Actually, it'd be good, if, good thing to have, like, a way down from this house. Like, probably not from the front where I want to hurt people. But, you know, why not? Let's see if we can do that. We cannot do that. Down from there, across the support beam. There we go. Support beam coming in. MVP again. Oh no, they got over here. They got over here. They got over here. They got over here. That's not good. That's not what I want at all. Oh god, I'm trapped in a hole. I'm trapped in a hole. Somehow it's fine. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, they uh, they actually teleported over here. They can see the TNT. And they, they're detonating it for some bizarre, unknown reason. And they're gonna... <laughs> I think that might be the death of them. I'm gonna knock them off the, get off the map now. Using the ladders. Okay, we're gonna pour water just all over their heads right now. Uh, that's all I wanna do right now. Whack them a few times in the back, and then we're gonna uh, kind of cower away, make them chase me, and then we're gonna get away like this. Oh no, I need to get a block in my inventory. 
Real quick. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. We're safe. As you can see, <laughs> this is why you need to have this, uh, the base safety mechanism, just in case they do this to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what their, their strategy is here. So I think he actually blew up a lot of my uh, my base using that TNT. So it was actually quite clever, this spam magician, spam magician, whatever, it's the same thing. But he's not quite as clever as uh, <laughs> literally being punched off his, his structure by a single fist hit. So we're just gonna use our little ladder, climb back up while he still thinks I'm over there. And we're gonna work on some much needed home improvements. So for instance, I think that a, uh, you know, a, a stone button, really handy thing, because you can use these to automatically activate your front door. And uh, <laughs> given that he doesn't know where I am, we're gonna just pretty place one right here. As you can see, super, oh wait, yeah, super handy way to open and shut the front door from a distance. So for instance, someone at your door, you're not sure if you can trust them. Oh, what's this? Press the button, there they are. Look how handy this is. He's gonna try and build across the void rather than taking the front door, which is really, really rude in my opinion. I think this is grounds for the death penalty as far as Skywars rules go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a nice death chamber room. In fact, actually, wait, <laughs> I think that's a really good idea. Just make a, a place in this that can go straight to the floor and then get him to use that. Oh no, is he gonna use the front door? Oh, I think he might just do that. I think he might just be doing that. He's gonna try and chop down the trees. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no- whatever his plan is, I'm loving- I'm loving his persistence to sticking to it. Actually, you know what? Let's make a bunch of doors. I just realize right now, there's probably a lot of fun to be had in that. So let's just make 21 doors. 22 doors, apparently. So yeah, we're gonna go back and do our thing again. Again, just stand over here, except if he wants to get to me, he's gonna have to go through some ladders first. Oh, but can you do- I'm eating. You could come kill me right now. Like, just use something that's not that. Except- oh, there's a wooden door in the way. How are you gonna deal with that, man? How are you gonna deal with that? <laughs> I love that he's actually struggling between like, falling off the edge and attacking me. Oh, but there's a second door now. But there's a third door. No one expects that one. Now this is getting confusing. How to get past all these doors? Uh, then we shut some doors behind him, maybe? <laughs> oh no, he's getting past the door. The door mechanism is failing. The door, the door strategy is not as flawless as I once assumed. Wait, actually, let's, let's kill him with doors. I think that's actually a smart idea. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I wanted to like use doors and like try and trick him that way. But as you can see, we get 21 minutes. He had to be put out of his misery somehow. And that was the way. I got four kills during that survival let's play. As you can see, you don't have to mutually exclusively pick between killing people and playing Minecraft. You can do both at the same time. Okay, there's only three people left alive by the time I managed to get a pickaxe. Which is like absurdly low, like how did all these people manage to die all the time, every time? And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to kill him first, I guess. Which I, I don't want to kill him, just run away. Just get get away from me. I, you don't know I'm here. Oh, look how scary I am, I'm the big evil toy cat man. I've got iron armor on. That's scary, okay, we fighting to the death it is then. If that's the option, you, ch if you oh god, he actually will kill me. Oh no, <laughs> I was trying to intimidate him and I just shot him once and he died. I guess he was super low on health, that's why he ran away. But yeah, now we have to somehow, in a 1v1 situation, try our very best to make a nice, interesting house. Wait, this map, because it has uh, iron blocks, we can actually make iron on this one, which we can't do in other maps. So this might actually lead to something. This might lead to something great. And there we go, just like that. We can now make a bucket. We can now make shears, which I kind of wanted to before. We can make a flint and steel if we found gravel somewhere. And like, somewhere in a cave there has to be one piece of gravel. And uh, although there's no water on this map, as far as I'm aware, Still, we got a bucket. We can milk a cow. There's no cows either. This is sad. The one map where they give you iron is the one map you don't have water on, as far as I know, in Cubecraft right now. This is a real tragedy. That guy just jumped off the edge of the map, by the way. Like, I I was literally trying to just do this normally. He just jumps off the edge. That's just immediately. That That's his whole thing. Oh, it seems as though this game we have some teamers, which is kind of like a fun little mini challenge of its own. Because they're not very good teamers, they're just two guys who feel like, you know, if we're on a team, then we'll totally just win this one. Yep, that's their whole strategy. Oh, can we kill two people at once who are lagging slightly and using touch controls? Hey, easy. So I've tried this before, but with a uh, wooden hoe before. I'm gonna see for sure if we can make a stone hoe. Because if so, maybe fun to start gardening inside Skywars. I feel like that would make some sense, but we can't do it. Maybe if we make a bunch of them at the same time, the game will just like force, force, forcibly give me one like that. That seems like logic then to me, maybe. Yeah, even on, a, on a, even on a map which has very much clearly trees on it, you can't make stone axes. So it's like, so how are we meant to get the wood we need for other things? And I guess the game just does not intend for you to play around with it as much as we have done today, but that's not gonna stop me 
I've looked through pretty much every craft recipe in the game, and all the fun ones, all the kind of weird ones, require something from the nether, or they require some actual ore, or they're the ones we've tried that just don't work. And I think the answer to the question, can you play survival in Minecraft Skywars? Like, we knew the answer was no going in, and therefore I don't want it to be no going out. So I'll say, can you play Minecraft Skywars? Would it work well for you? The answer is very clearly like, no, you're not going to have a good time. It doesn't work correctly uh, in the slightest. However, that doesn't mean that there's not some, you know, tips from survival you can take over to Skywars. A lot of the basic, uh, you know, techniques that you can use in a solo world might transfer over to Skywars and vice versa. And although that's an entire lie and nothing that you do in this game will transfer from PvP over to the base game, it is still interesting to be, you know, if you want to be a, a better rounded person, to learn some of the tips from the game mode you don't play very often, because it might just help you out. A lot of people only play Minecraft in creative. They only do redstone in Minecraft. That's the only thing they care about. And that's fine, that's cool, but Minecraft is one of the most multifaceted games out there, developed by a huge studio of people with all different interests and cares and, you know, little pet projects. And, uh, yeah, seeing how different, you know, the PvP, which is developed by server owners, can be to the base survival, can be to just playing around and making creative builds, is something interesting we got from this regardless. So, yeah, before we go, I do want to at least, uh, you know, kill some people today, so let's try our very best to run in here with a pickaxe. And, uh, you know, because this is, this is a very much survival thing, like running in, using a weapon you're not meant to to try and kill some mobs. And, okay, we're going to have to end up all right out of here, use the last two and a half hearts we have, apparently, to do that. But, like, you know, stuff like that, like how much, how many hearts does an interpol take? Probably not that important in, uh, you know, survival, but in PvP you know it, and that means you can avoid a mistake like that in survival, or vice versa. But, you know, learning mistakes from other game modes, super actually valuable. So I'm just gonna let him hit me a few times. Actually, let's, let's mine into this guy's, like, base first. And then we're gonna mine out of there, just throw that over there, it's, oh, there we go, we're safe. <laughs> and we're golden. So yeah, we'll let those two guys kill each other, then we'll get in for the win. And, uh, we'll conclude this experiment was very much a failure, but... Hopefully it was a failure that at least taught you something valuable, or maybe just encouraged you to have a bit more fun when you're next playing a uh, you know PvP minigame. Because the truth is, it's PvP, uh, a lot of people take it very, very seriously, but there is a lot of fun to be had, and you can also win and have fun at the same time if you really want to. At least sometimes. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a fun thing to do, and you're not. Video games are all about fun, so let's have some more of that. That's what I try to do on my channel pretty much every single day these days. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more of that, you can maybe subscribe with notifications, but this time, for real, because, I mean, if you subscribe, it boosts the subscriber number. And, like, we're close to a million, and, like, I kind of want the gold play button, because that way, if YouTube fails me, I can melt it down and sell it. And, you know, what? basically what I'm saying here is thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and choose to subscribe, because I'll see you all in another one. Goodbye.